guys, today I'm going to show you just a fast Unity tutorial. <clears throat> and the tutorial, tutorial is all about making a pop-up appear when in-game. And uh, we're going to use uh, assets from the asset store, meaning it's not just coded. And uh, the assets we're going to use are Playmaker and NGUI. So, first of all, let's uh, quickly make a pop-up. We got our GUI window right here. Select it. Right-click, create sprite. Select the background for the pop-up. Sure, that wooden thing would be fine. And move it to where you find fitting. <laughs> and of course, you can see right now my, my game menu. So let me just switch over real quick. There we go. You can see it's. Yeah, we want the pop up to appear right there. So let's leave it there and let's just rename it pop up. There we go. We're going to create a label and add it as a child, resize it, change the color of the text. Change the text to that is fine and call this pop up title. And we're going to add a second label, also a child. There we go. Again. Change the text. This time we're going Arial, text color, black, pop up, pop ip, lol. content. There we go. So now we got our pop up. And let's just hide that thing. Of course, you could uh, make it all sort of crazy nice looking. Next step is to uh, make it trigger. So whenever the player walks into something or touches it, it's going to pop up. So for that, we're just going to create a new prefab. And usually you can just add a cube. I'm going to use Pro Builder Cubes because uh, I like the way you edit them. So let's get that up here. There we go. So let's add it to the top of this ramp. Yes, new cube, extract across, and up so he doesn't jump it. There we go. Hit G, top level editing. And let's just rename this to trigger up, up. There we go. I'm going to remove the mesh. So it's invisible, but it's still going to block until we hit this one called trigger. So now it's a trigger. You can walk right through it. However, it's not going to trigger anything. I'm just going to, uh, until you add something to it. And usually you would add a hit collider using C sharp. But since we got Playmaker, that's the window right down here. We're going to add a finite state machine, and we're just going to call it the uh, pop up. The state one is going to be wait. It's simply just going to do nothing. It's just going to wait until a player enters that box. However, when a player enters that box, we're going to uh, show the pop up. There we go. So, add transition, show pop up. That just means nothing yet. So, we're going to add an action to it. And there we go. And we're going to add a trigger 
trigger event on trigger enter collide attack player so when the player enters this thing do this so when the player enters go to show pop up okay add a new state pop up there we go just going to drag an arrow and in the action browser, we're going to search for NGI. I also have the NGI script add-on, so. <coughs> Sorry about that. Set active. Well, you could also just simply drag this one down here and set set property and you can see active. Yes. But we're going to go with NGI. So we're going to specify game object, pop up, active. Okay, so when you enter this box, it will pop up. However, we also want to hide the box when you move out of the box again. So we're going to add another trigger. Trigger on trigger player. Let's just call uh, this event exit. Then exit. Okay, we got an error now because we need to add the transition exit. Add state. Drag exit to it. And let's call this one. Sorry. There we go. Hide pop up. We're going to. Well, <clears throat> this time we're going to simply drag and drop, drag, set, active, active, unchecked, there we go, control S, save, <clears throat> and it's time to test, so hit play, switch monitor, there we go. so we got our little guy. and. Pop up. And when I exit, it exits or removes the pop up from screen. How about that? So, the reason it only works once is because you, I'm using different methods. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what I really want to do right here it, when we uh, hide the thing is use uh, NGUI active. However, if you noticed, it would be very nice if you only want to show the power up a single time. Uh, then you would do what we just did: use a normal set active because and and UI active for the initial. That means it won't reappear. As you can see. If you were to add some functionality to the power up, you could add a uh, button to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.